Alexa, play Skyrim. So I've already played this like a little bit yesterday, just the beginning, and it really doesn't matter because I don't think there's any story to this, and if there is, then it isn't that good. So um, yeah, let's play this. The path slopes steeply upwards. You'd better watch your step. One battle left to fight. Victory or Sovngarde. The room brightens up with another worldly light. A flame atronach twists in the air blocking your path. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, shout, use shout, shout, or flee. Shout, what would you like to do? You shout. Foo's row. Your unrelenting force throws the flame atronach back, staggering it. The flame atronach misses you with a ball of fire. What, is the shout what would you like to do? Uh, you can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. I what know. would you like to do? Uh, cast weapon. Your battle axe chops the flame atronach. The flame atronach hurls a ball of fire at you. You take 16 damage. What would you like to oh. do? Um. Use spell. Your raised zombie bites the flame atronach. Your foe is resistant to this type of attack. The flame atronach hurls a ball of fire at you. You take 16 damage. What would you like to do? Uh, use weapon again. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. What would you like to do? I said use weapon. Your battle axe cleaves the flame atronach. The flame atronach is cast back into oblivion. You have triumphed. You have 52 health. You have successfully retrieved the set of silver candlesticks. This should fetch a nice reward. You arrive at a crossroads. In one direction is a fishing camp, in the other is an isolated shack. Where would you like to go? We'll go to fishing camp. You meet a dark elf miner at the fishing camp. He's lost an item of great sentimental value, uh, a useless bauble. He begs you to retrieve it for him. Will you lend your aid to this desperate miner? <laughs> no. After heading out on the road, you come across a guard who says, I got to thinking, maybe I'm the dragonborn and just don't know it yet. You promptly knock him over with your thune. Later, you arrive at a crossroads. In one direction is a bustling tavern, in the other is a small hamlet. Where would you like to go? The tavern. Once at the bustling tavern, an orc miner greets you. She looks quite sad. Oh, she tells her. you her brother was killed by a mysterious evil in a dense forest. It's not Will you avenge enough. her brother? How did she die? Wait, how did the brother die again? Will you avenge her brother? It's not the answer to my question. Um, will you avenge her brother? Yes, I will avenge her brother. Will you avenge her brother? Yes, I will avenge her brother. Will you avenge her brother? I will avenge her brother. Will you avenge her brother? Yes, I will fucking avenge her brother, all right? Will you avenge her brother? No, no, I don't even care anymore. Nope. Will you avenge her brother? I said no. Will you avenge her brother? No. You head out on the road. <clears throat> the Wood Elf Apothecary thanks you for retrieving her Book of Conjuration spells. How could she live with it? As a reward, she gives you a counterfeit healing potion. Inside the bottle, you find only tomato sauce. You head out on the it's road. You steal a sweet roll while exploring, but feel guilty and return it to its rightful no, owner. I don't return After the walking sweet roll. for a while, you arrive at a crossroads. In one direction is a spooky lighthouse, in the other is a foggy dock. Where would you like to go? We're gonna go to the spooky lighthouse. Once at the spooky lighthouse, a Khajiit hunter greets you. He tells you of the terrible evil lurking in a nearby ruined fort that has been terrorizing the spooky lighthouse. Will you lend your spell and steal to his cause? Yes. You follow the quest marker to your destination. You stop in front of an old fortress, scanning the battlements for danger but find none. You're either lucky or walking into an ambush. Will you venture in? Oh, obviously, anything for the spooky lighthouse. Will you venture in? Yes. 
You pass through a cobweb as you enter the room. A wild-eyed Forsworn blocks your path. He looks tough and totally psychotic. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. What would you like to do? Cast weapon. Your battle axe cleaves the Forsworn. The Forsworn looks up at you and promises that three more will rise in his place, right before you decapitate him. You are victorious. Your health is at 100. What does that mean? Wait. There are two ways forward, a suspiciously ordinary door and a wooden staircase. Which do you choose? A suspiciously ordinary door. You move deeper into the fort. A bearskin rug stares up at you from the floor. You smell vermin. A disease-ridden skeever appears. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. Shout. What would you like to do? Shout. Shout. Foo throw. Your unrelenting force throws the skeever back, staggering it. The skeever struggles to get up, briefly, then expires. Good riddance. You are victorious. Your health is at 100. There are three paths forward, a tall ancient archway, a wooden staircase, and a well-worn passageway. Which do you choose? The archway. You move deeper into the fort. A skeever roasts on a spit in the hearth, unattended. You hear a blood-curdling howl. Suddenly, a fully grown ice wolf leaps out at you. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. What would you like to do? Use spell. Your sparks shock the ice wolf. The ice wolf lunges at you and bites. You take six damage. What would you like to do? Shout. Foo throw. Your unrelenting force tosses the ice wolf into the air. It crashes to the ground. The ice wolf is resistant to that attack. How? It just Your shout like skill died, has though. increased to level six. You now command unrelenting force. The ice wolf lunges, but you evade the attack. What would you like to do? Um, kill it. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. What would you like to do? Use spell. Your flames sear the ice wolf, reducing to it to ash. You are victorious. Your health is at 94. Your magicka swells with arcane power. Your magic skill has increased to level 6. There are three paths forward, a winding hallway, a dimly lit hallway, and a tapestry-lined hallway. Which do you choose? Alexa, off. Oh.